the mean streets. You went missing a week ago in 1920s New York. Fortunately, your beau is the best detective on the beat and has set out to find you. Doesn't matter where you've gone, he'll find you soon enough. The scene opens on a dark, cold night in downtown New York. Hmm, of course it's a dark, dreary night. Guess it matches the mood, doesn't it, honey bee? Don't you worry, I'm coming to find you. You've got the best damn detective this side of a Nickelodeon on the case. Of all the people to go missing, it had to be you. The one person keeping me from going haywire at every bull session. The one sweet patch of berries keeping me from scrapping with every bell bottom that comes through here. Maybe uncouth of me to want to deck a sailor for whistling at you, but hey, men gotta keep each other honest. You do love walking by the docks, though. That's why it's gonna be my first stop. Strange, ain't it, baby? How you can be living your simple life, appreciating the one ray of sunshine you get on a winter morning, and then something up there decides you aren't allowed any more sunlight. Says, nah. You ain't had enough of getting kicked in the teeth yet, asshole. And rips away everything. And here we go, talking to the Barnacle Boys. Hey, Chief. Yeah, you. You seen this person? They went missing a week ago, and I'm trying to chase down some leads. Uh Uh-huh. Sure you don't know nothing for no blue nose. Let me see your shirt for a second, pal. Nah, come on. I want to see how long I can dangle you over the ocean before you find some common damn sense. Ocean looks mighty angry, my friend. Pitch black. Couldn't even see any sharp, jagged rocks down there, could you? Damn. Damn, damn, damn. It'd be a real shame if whatever piece is gaming you for some cash had to be the one standing over your damn casket. Now, how's about playing nice, hmm? The man thrashes and cries out for mercy before, at last, relenting. Hmm. Saw them at the ticket office for the ferry two days ago, eh? Yeah. A lot better, kid. Now go clean the piss off of you, and if I see you again... Now go clean the piss off of you, and if you see them again, I want to know. Got it? Good. Now scram. He sighs, lighting a cigar as the rain continues to pour. Baby, baby, what on earth were you doing buying a ferry ticket at this hour two days ago? Something must have spooked you. Hmm. Don't like it. No one spooks my sweet honeybee. Hey, Mr. Ticket Man. Yeah, Detective Langston, NYPD. You seen this person? Mm Mm-hmm. Right. They bought a ticket, but you never saw him get on the ferry, huh? That something you look out for routinely? Good. Good man. I appreciate good folks like you paying attention to simple little things like their customers making it on board safely. I think I have what I need. Thank you kindly. If you don't jump the ferry, there's only one place for you to go, baby. The slums. Did a bum jump you, sweetheart? If he did, ain't a force alive that'll save him, I promise you. I'll kick the fucker's teeth in until he's calling me a damn dentist. Sheesh. Haven't been this antsy on the beat in a long time. Stakes are higher than normal. Feel like I'm going through damn withdrawals just knowing, just not knowing where you are. I told you every morning since you agreed to be mine that you're my sunshine. Guess it makes more sense that I'm walking in the freezing rain at 10 p.m. just trying to find some sunshine, eh? (laughs) You always love funny little coincidences like that. Like us meeting at that cute little bake sale you and the other teachers put on. You smiled up at me like I was the sun, and you were a little sunflower. And your first words to me were, Sir, I think you're leaning on the apple pies. (laughs) I'll find you, honeybee. I guarantee it. 
here we are, the bum wonderland. Damn smell is worse than the fucking fish at the pier, I swear. All right. Detective Langston, just passing through. If I see something illegal in the next few minutes, I don't care. Got it? I'm just looking for someone. The homeless all gaze idly at him before going back trying to avoid hypothermia. Good. Just passing through. I'm looking for this person. Seen him? The man he is speaking to squints at the paper, then points over to you. Baby? Baby! You hear his voice in turn. Honeybee! Oh, sweetheart. You scared the hell out of me running off like that. Ah, oh, come here. Let these big, strong arms hold you. Oh, you scared me so bad, doll. I thought someone had taken you from me. His grip tightens, and subtle as a knife, his tone wavers to something resembling a bubbling cauldron of barely contained psychotic rage. You scared me. Baby doll. Hey, no, no. You ain't struggling away from this. Listen to me. Listen. Good. It breaks my heart. You looking up at me with those big, beautiful, teary eyes. But this is your fault, honeybee. I told you what would happen if you pulled the shit again, didn't I? He laughs, just as unhinged. <laughs> Go on. Yell for help. Yell for help, sweetheart. Hey, hey, all you bums here. You want in on this drama, huh? You want to see a grown-ass man having to scream at his partner because they just don't seem to fucking realize how loved and adored they are and feel it necessary to run away like a goddamn brat? The homeless all stay quiet, staring at the two of you in terror. Yeah, I didn't think so. No one's going to help you except me, honeybee. So why make this hard, hmm? I know you think you'll give me the slip eventually, but baby... He leans down, voice coiling into a whisper. It ain't gonna happen. Even if you run to the ends of the earth, I'll come and get you. But I guarantee I'm going to get more and more pissed off every time I have to. And I'm getting to the point where I'm thinking you don't need both feet to get around. You understand me? Ah, honey. Shh, I got you. Hmm. This is the only place you need to cry into, baby. Right into this chest. Come on. Let's go home, okay? Hey. I love you, honey bee. Don't you forget that. Okay? They're shaking against me as we walk home together. They don't understand how dangerous this city is. How many people would tear them to shreds without me around. Life has a funny way of showing you who your real allies are, who the wolves are versus the sheep. And if I gotta be a wolf to protect my sheep for the rest of my days, I will. I know they don't understand now why I'm so protective, so stern, but I know they'll realize one of these days that this old heart is only beating because of them, and I can't let it stop, no matter what. The End That concludes The Mean Streets. want to give quick credit and uh, immense gratitude to the writer of the script. It's Esme Jones on ASMR Script Haven subreddit. Uh, we spoke privately, and uh, they were kind enough to actually write this script with me in mind, so I hope I was able to do it justice. Um, there was a few parts where I had like a little bit of a minor slip up. I, if you don't already know, I mostly do these just kind of like in one take, uh, like not any editing, not a ton of practice. This one, I, I gave it a little bit of a read through. I played some, uh, you know, some saxophone jazz in the background, kind of get me in the mood to uh, create this character, Detective Langston uh, of the NYPD. So anyways, um, much love to them. I couldn't have done this without them. I really sincerely appreciate them writing this and thinking of me um, in order to come up with this. I, I really I really dig the idea. I think it was a super cool script, and um, I would be happy to work with them again in the future. Thank you so much to them. Um, if you stuck around for this long, 
and you liked the content, uh, feel free to let me know. Even if you didn't like the content, feel free to let me know what you thought of the script. Um, I'm always looking for feedback. So if you like the video, consider giving it a like. If you want to see more uh, voice acting, ASMR type of work, consider, consider subscribing to the channel. You can always obviously uh, unsubscribe if you don't like what you hear because uh, I'll be making videos on a regular basis. So um, yeah, this was The Mean Streets. Uh, it was a fun script to do, and I appreciate you listening to it. So until next time, take care of yourself, stay hydrated, watch your fucking back when you come down to the slums, and uh, yeah, we'll catch you in the next one. So thank you so much. Peace. <laughs>